What is up guys, so the second trailer for Avengers Infinity War just came out and I thought, why don't I break it down? This will be my first non-Arrowverse trailer breakdown, it's just that I'm really excited for Avengers Infinity War, it's probably, it's definitely my most anticipated movie of the year, so I thought I should branch out a little bit into the Marvel Studios um, movies. I have done movie reviews in the past on Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, but I've never done a trailer breakdown and I thought what better way to start than probably their biggest movie yet, Avengers Infinity War. So I can't play the trailer here because I, I think I probably will get copyrighted. It is two minutes long. It's a little too long to play. Unlike an Arrowverse trailer, which is like 20 to 30 seconds long each, I can't play the entire thing. But I'm just going to play a little clip, and it's a clip that I really like. I thought it was hilarious. Here it is, but I will break down the rest of the trailer with a other than this clip. You, could, you can watch the trailer just looking it up. Look up Avengers Infinity War trailer. It's probably trending everywhere. You've probably already seen it. But here it is. Here's the clip and then the breakdown. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. So I thought that line from Star-Lord was hilarious. I watched this trailer like three or four times and I laughed every single time. It's comedy gold, but I don't think the rest of the the movie will be that will that will be that jokey. Marvel has had like a lot of jokey movies like Thor Ragnarok was extremely funny, a little bit too funny in my opinion. It was a little too unserious. It should have been a little more serious. And I think Avengers Infinity War definitely will be more serious, but obviously it's a Marvel movie, so it has to have some jokes like this one with Starlord, which was hilarious. The one at the end with Spider-Man, which was a little less funny, but I think that was just for the end to end the trailer with a shot of Spider-Man. I think they're, they they focused a lot on on Spider-Man in this trailer. I think it's just because it is their most popular superhero, so that kind of makes sense, despite the fact that his movie made less money than Thor Ragnarok and Black, especially Black Panther. So I would expect that they focus a lot of Black Panther, considering how much of that movie made. So at the beginning of the trailer, we hear Gamora say that for however long she's known Thanos, he's wanted to wipe out half the universe. That is something that he's that that was like his big thing in the comics. The reason he wanted to do that is because he was in love with the physical embodiment of death and wanted to get her love back. And to do that, he wanted to wipe out half the universe. Now, death has not been introduced in this universe in the MCU as of yet. I think it's because it was a Fox property, but now. Now that Disney's buying Fox back, it won't be anymore, but at this point, they haven't bought, and, and, and by the time they were writing the script for this movie and filming it, they didn't have death. As far as, I, can, as uh, I know, I think it was a Fox property, which is why they didn't introduce it into the universe yet, but they could easily substitute that with Hela, which is, who is the god of death in the, in the Norse mythology. They could substitute Hela for death in this whole thing, but I think they're not. I think they're just making it so that Thanos wants to bring balance to the universe because he says that in the previous trailer he says when you're bringing balance to the universe you don't really consider fun which was a great line and he, then he said and but this puts a smile on my face I love that line but it seems like he wants to bring balance to the universe and the way he's doing that is by wiping out half the universe I don't know where where the logic is in that but I think he, he he's a little crazy or maybe he has this whole plan of his to to why that will succeed, but that's why I think he's doing this is because he wants to bring balance to the, to the universe rather than trying to get the love of death. Maybe they're gonna somehow introduce death or use Hela as a substitute, but I don't think so. Just because of how they're saying how they're how they're phrasing it in the trailers. We hear Gamora say that with the Infinity Stones, he could just wipe out half the universe with a snap of his fingers. That is actually a really iconic uh, moment from the comics where he just snaps his fingers and half. Of humanity just disappears or dies like half of the Marvel heroes die or disappear they don't really die they disappear and then they come back later by reversing that snap which is I th they're probably gonna do that they're probably gonna he's they're, he's probably gonna snap his fingers like by the end of the movie and then in Avengers 4 they're gonna resolve that but I th also think that a, a, a bunch of people are gonna die as well but we hear that the fact that he needs all the infinity stones to do this and then Iron Man says we have what he wants. What he's talking about is they have the the Eye of Agamotto, that's the time stone. They have 
the I think they have the power stone by the Nova Corps, although I think Thanos will get that like right away. I think that will be the opening shot of the movie because they said the opening shot of the movie is going to be like a really big thing. So I think it's going to be Thanos getting the power stone from the Nova Corps. And I think it's very probable that that the soul stone is in Wakanda. Also, they have the no, 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 the, the soul stone, I think, is in vision or is that the mind stone it's either the soul stone or the mind stone and then the and the the other one that's not in vision is in wakanda so that's why that's why thanos is going to wakanda to get it we haven't it hasn't been revealed where this soul stone is but it's probably in wakanda and it's probably what's powering the vibranium because it came from space and thanos is is coming to this place and iron man says we have what he wants so I think it's very probable that this soul stone is in Wakanda, and it is what powers vibranium, which in turn powers Wakanda. Around a minute and 20 seconds into the trailer, we see this shot of Thanos wearing this armor, which by the way looks really, really cool. In the previous trailer, there was a shot of him, the only like one of the only shots of him, and people were saying he looks a little weird without the armor, and I sort of agreed a little bit. I saw the I thought the CGI was a tiny bit off. But with the armor, he looks so menacing and and big, and he looks just really great and comic book accurate as well. We see him right here holding the hand of a holding a green hand, and it looks like a kid's green hand, and that's gotta be Gamora, which means this has gotta be a flashback. I think that that sounds a little weird. I think they probably should have done this flashback in the second Guardians of the Galaxy because just to flesh out Gamora a little bit more in those movies, and along with with Thanos, because I don't really know how a flashback would fit into the movie. I'm betting that it's going to be really, really great because, I mean, almost everything Marvel does is at this point. But just thinking about it, I don't really know where a flashback would fit in. So I, I think they should have done it in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But either way, this is going to be a flashback to when Thanos either adopted Gamora or just her childhood with Thanos and probably showing how he was such a terrible father and to flesh him out as a character and... His motivation because we know Gamora knows his motivation which means Gamora will probably tell this this flashback you know this tell this story in flashback form and then we're gonna learn his motivation and what he wants to do which I mean we already know what he wants to do but just his motivation so a minute and 25 seconds into the trailer we see our first footage of the Black Order I think it's our first footage I know it's not our first look because we've seen them in posters and and we've seen character like portraits of them but I don't think we've ever seen them in an actual trailer we've never seen footage of them but from left to right they are Proxima Midnight, Ebony Maw, Carvis Glaive, and Cole Obsidian they are like Thanos's posse they're gonna work with him I think it would have been pretty nice to have them fleshed out in a previous movie but I don't think they needed to do that because they're not gonna be around they're not gonna be a huge focus of, of anything it's just gonna be Thanos he is the main villain but in this same shot, we see Loki give Thanos the Space Stone, which was the Tesseract, which was the big MacGuffin of the first Avengers movie. He Loki got the Tesseract back in Thor Ragnarok. The Tesseract was in Asgard between Avengers and Thor Ragnarok for the entirety of those five years, and then Loki got it just by going in and taking it. I think that's what happened. There was also a, uh, an Infinity Gauntlet in that room, in that same trophy room, which turned out to be... A fake Hella just tossed it away which I thought was a pretty funny movie and it also explained a big plot hole which is why is there two infinity gauntlets but that is when he got the Tesseract and now he's giving it to Thanos so that was like I think that this is definitely gonna be the the second infinity stone he gets after the power stone because again I think that he's gonna get the power stone right at the beginning of the movie by taking it from this from the Nova Corps. he's gonna get that and then the Tesseract from Loki, and then probably like the Mind Stone from Vision, and all the rest, and I don't remember where the Reality Stone is, it was not Thor uh, The Dark World, but I don't remember where it is now, I thought it was in, a no, I actually know where it is, I just remembered, the Collector has it, so he's probably, the Collector either will give it to him, or he's going to take it from the Collector, or something, but we don't see any hint of that at all in this trailer, or in the previous trailer, the only, like, that's the only one where I have no idea when or where he's going to get it. The rest, I have a pretty clear idea when and where he's going to get those stones, but the re the reality stone, I'm not really sure. So the trailer basically ends with this awesome shot of Thanos trying to smack Captain America because his hand's out, but it probably punching Captain America, and he stops it. It's an awesome 
shot. And I think it would be even more awesome if Thanos says, like, give up, and Captain America says, I could do this all day just to bring his whole story around from his first movie to Civil War to this movie where he keeps on saying that. I think that would be a great moment. And if he dies right there and then, which he won't do because I think this is this happens around the the war between Thanos, his Black Order, and all those weird alien things, and Wakanda, and the Avengers, which I think is not going to be the climax of the movie. It might be, it might be that, or it could be the, the thing on that other planet with Star-Lord, Spider-Man, and Iron Man, but if I'm get, if I'd guess, I think it would, it's more likely to be this one, because we see more Avengers here, so it is possible that Captain America actually dies in this shot, and we know that, that, uh, that a major character, or a couple major characters are going to die, and those are going to be permanent, so, if this shot right here of of um, Thanos, of Captain America stopping Thanos' punch, and then Thanos says, give up, or something uh, along those lines, and then Captain America says, I could do this all day, and then Thanos kills him, that would be a very powerful moment. It would bring his story all the way around. It would make Thanos look even more threatening, and I think it would be just a great death for Captain America. An even better death and a more... A more suitable death would probably be for him to sacrifice himself, because I definitely think Captain America or Iron Man will die in, the, in this movie, or maybe even both. But I don't really know. But I just, I just know that if what I said about him saying I can do this all day happens, I would be happy, because it, it would just take, it would bring his his whole story full circle and end it in a pretty perfect moment. It would also make Thanos look even more threatening than he already does. So that's it for the breakdown. My thoughts on the trailer is that. It was an awesome trailer, not quite as good as the first one, but that's because the first one was probably the best trailer I've ever seen for any movie ever. It just got me so hyped for this movie. This trailer also got me really hyped for the movie, but not quite as much as the first one. But either way, this was a pretty great trailer, but let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.